So thank you all for being here. We look forward to a wonderful program. Speaking first is uh, Cardinal Cipriani. Thank you, Your Eminence, for being here. Um, a brief introduction, the Cardinal was such a star athlete that at age 17, he was invited to join the Peruvian men's national basketball team, where he played for six years as a young man before becoming a priest. Normally, when I meet a distinguished person like this, I tell myself, at least I could beat him one-on-one -on -one in basketball. But <laughs> apparently not the case with his eminence. He was appointed a bishop in 1988 by John Paul II, Archbishop of Lima in 1999, and a cardinal in 2001. Um, and he gave a, a, a beautiful interview years ago and talked about his parents and what he learned from his parents. Hopefully we can learn something from that today. He said, from my mother, I would say I learned a firmness of character and a dedication to prayer. And from my father, a sly smile and a bit of a sense of humor. So my kids might be okay. Uh, thank you, Your Eminence. Welcome, and, and we look forward to your remarks. Thank you so much. Hello to everybody. Let's hope my English goes through. So I, I will read it, and now and then I make some short comments. The main idea of this whole short talk is to express some of the thoughts of San Jose Maria, Saint Joseph Maria Escriva, the founder of Opus Dei. Because he opened up a road, because God wants it, for people that are married, how to get in touch with Christ and how to be blessed saints on the family life. Uh, this, I will say, first of all, we have to be very uh, clear to know that marriage is a vocation. Because many times we speak of vocation and we are thinking in a priest or in a consecrated or religious. No, no. To be married is a vocation. See, God wants you through marriage to be saints. And uh, yes, I will tell you a, a, a short comment that comes to my mind. Many times during my life, I've been looking for numeraries for Opus Dei. You know? Sometimes I got them, or God brought them. Sometimes I didn't. But what comes to my mind now on these days is that we have to teach young people that marriage is a vocation. It's not a question of it is easier. I don't want to give my whole life because I prefer to be married. Well, that's not clear. That's not a good idea for deciding. It's a vocation. You can be a single man or you can be a married man or you, whatever, you, whatever God asks from you because you will have enough grace to be loyal to that vocation. Pero, eh, Jesus comes into the souls of those who marry and invites them to follow, transforming the whole of married life into a divine journey. San Jose Maria used to say this, John, let's say, put it a name, your way to happiness is called Mary, your wife. And he will tell Mary, your way to happiness is called John, your husband. So the path to heaven for married people is the wife to the, to the husband and vice versa. So it's not that I am going to try to be the best. Both of you. That's very, very well. You know it better, but it's quite important because this uh, sacrament in which, in which Jesus gives you the grace goes into daily life. I mean, sometimes you prefer to see a good basketball game and your wife would like to see, uh, no sé, another 
program. And these small things make a great couple or make a great problem. Or sometimes, that's real. You want to take uh, uh, breakfast at the bed, and your wife will say, oh, everything is dirty here. Well, let's move to the table. And a great argument about if we take breakfast here or there. Or I would like to go out for dinner, or no, I'm too tired. Well, all of these small things, the grace of God, comes in to help both of you to decide together. So, uh, at the same time that it is a vocation, grace of God, it's a mission. In, in, in the whole way of mission, you have to realize that we are in, in this earth, in, the, in this world, to do something. Not only to work and earn money, that's okay, but more than that, especially with your kids, with your sons and daughters, especially. Today, I, we will hear very important messages. I will not say a word about it. No? Pero, married couples are called to a vocation with a mission that consists in sanctifying themselves in the union by living well their family life, their marital relations, the care and education of their children, the work involved, the effort to support the family financially, and to secure and improve in and their dealing with others in the social community. We have to, in these times, count more, count more on faith, Trust, hope, and love, charity. I mean, it's not easy on these days to be saints in the day-to-day -day life. Never has been this easy. My parents, we were 11 all together. And when we were very little kids, we all will go to Mass. It's time for Mass. Everybody went up. And we, when we reached 14, 15, Mom, I'll be going let, later. No, I already went. And we start just not going with our parents. That was normal. In their certain time of life, the children will start going by, by their way, and we have to learn to see them grow. But, but uh, I would say, try to be try to be, you try. Friends, he's coming to say it's over. No se oye. No se oye. Se oye? Better. Se oye? Okay. Gracias. So I can be five more minutes. <laughs> that, that was a sign signal. I will come up and tell you the Everything is arranged. So what I will say is, you have to be not only husband and wife, but friends. You will say, well, but this is more than being a friend. Yes, but the expressions, the way your friend has its own way of expressing yourself. Say hello. Care for, where is she? Go and see her, listen to him. If he's tired, it's not a moment to explain him all the bad things at home. So, you know, yes, calm down. Maybe he would like to take a whiskey. Well, <laughs> maybe it, it's easier with a whiskey, I don't know. <laughs> or maybe you like to go outside because you are the whole day at home. But uh, friends is a... Uh, uh, to be friends is very important, and even more important with your sons and daughters. Friends. And to be friends today, I will say, I mix up things, but my language is, I could say it in Spanish better. But I will say, on, in these times, 
young people, your son, your daughter, not everyone, but frequently, they're a little bit uh, isolated. They, is that the, the, the relation between people is not easy. They prefer just to see their WhatsApp or whatever, or be at the room playing something in the internet. It's, it's not easy to relation. It's a very important uh, dimension of human life. You can read uh, Ratzinger. He will explain it very long, but very clear. That relation, how I deal with my wife, with my husband, with my son or daughter, with my grandmother. The relation. Now there's a great crisis of relation, a great crisis. Young people don't know how to relate themselves. They can be together and they can go for something to play football or whatever, but to speak each other, to open their hearts, to have some ideas between themselves, is not easy. And you at home can be well, with the example, make it easier for them to be open-minded, to be ready to listen, to speak up. And sometimes you have to tell him clearly, where do you come from? And he will say, you are always controlling me. No, no. I just wanted to, to know, to hear, so we can enjoy your, your plan. So these small signals, I will say, is now a great mission. We have to speak more, listen more, relate ourselves more. And you know, the great, the great teacher of this relation is Jesus Christ. We learn to relate ourselves in prayer. When we go to the tabernacle and listen and read something and speak to him, he will help you be good parents, have a good relation, and be very, I mean, responsible for the mission you have now. So, things that happen is normal. There are quarrels in the marriage, but it's not a problem. The thing is to end it as fast as possible. When somebody's arguing about this or the other, well, wait for the moment to, co to come that you can say something, but cut it down as fast as possible. Don't have a day or hours with a long face. Um, what's happening? No, I said something she didn't like. Or, uh, the, the boys, you know, the, 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 the young people now, instead of saying, I've had a problem, you, you will see, yes, they go into the room, no words, no nothing. They are just inside. They have a problem, but be ready to see the way to look for them. I mean, for all of this, the great enemy is what we will say, pride. I didn't do anything. Why do you tell me this, or why this, or why the other? So, in this, uh, let's say, family, marriage, uh, the usual company is, what I say, small pains that come with life. Don't be afraid. Express your affection because it would be a poor concept of marriage if the affection you have for your husband, for your children, is very seldom. No. We have to be humanly very, let's say, natural, but at the same time, express your ideas and express your affections. Be sure that your boys and girls are not living the same way you used to be. Things have changed a lot. So you don't have to change everything, but have patience and realize that when I was a child, I had friends in my neighborhood. Now the neighborhood is not so clear. I had, 
we will get together for this or the other. Now they will go each by own side. So parents have to be first example, be at home. Be at home. So then you can tell them, where were you? I was at home. I have this, this uh, in the vocation of these luminous and joyful homes, that was San Jose Maria used to say, that uh, los, oh, the hogares, homes, were luminous, luminosos, and joyful, alegres. Pues, we have to work, as myself, I have to work to continue to be loyal to what I promised many years ago. But you, married people, also have to be loyal to what you promised your wife or your husband and your children, that I will be there to raise them up, to educate them, to take care of them, and to live like permanent, I don't say enamorados, how you say in English? Enamorados. Sí, novios. Or, or whatever. Entonces, <laughs> you have, I mean, what I want to say is that the joyful days in which you started have to go along the whole life. And that's not easy. You become a little bit older, you have your character changes. I mean, but you have to continue to go back to those first days in which you were caring very much one for the other. And the sons have to see it. And finally, I will say just a, a brief word, but it's a time to fight for defendant families and marriage. We cannot be just seeing what they are doing now with families and marriage. No, we have to be involved. Not only in schools, but also in the, the group of families. And even if you could, or if you can, in, in, in politics or whatever, but we are just, in the whole world, we are seeing very... Uh, strange ideas like cancer with relation to family and we just keep quiet and oh look at this do you read this you heard that but oh, let's get moving it's much easier to defend the truth instead of just seeing how many lies and strange ideas are all over. They will tell us this morning this ideology of gender is terrible. But we have to realize that it's terrible. And we have to jump on the schools and say, basta, it's enough. I mean, law in the States is very respected, and I more or less agree. <laughs> Not a fully, but I agree. <laughs> But laws cannot conduce the families to great disasters. So parents have now not only to take care of their home and their children, but have to be present in the places where these problems are discussed and decided. Be sure that what Jesus started in his own family with Mary and Joseph is the correct path to heaven. So when I hear and I see so many types of marriage, I say, my gosh, how can they make this idea completely false, be respected? No, oh, everybody has his own, hey, wait a minute. Everybody in some sense, so there is a truth, there is a natural law, there is a right for everything, but anyway, I will just finish, and I'm sorry because I would like to say it more clear, but my English cuts me down, no? Be very free and teach your sons 
and daughters to be free. That's very important. And to be free, you will realize that love and the grace of God will work much better. They will be free and they, they will come with many good things from their hearts. But if you have the system of control or the system of no control, it will be a disaster. You have to learn with example how much and when and where. And the same happens between yourselves. No? The, the wife cannot be going after the husband the whole day. But the other way, tampoco. <laughs> Neither the other way, no? Because sometimes, oh, you leave things out of order always. Well, I'll try to do my bit, but it's not always. Tell him at least many times. <laughs> no? But if you say always, you're asking for trouble. No? It, it, the same happens when, anyway, these small uh, ways of dealing with you, uh, with love and with, with friendliness. Friendly. And with your voice, tell them to be incorporated in the life of the family, to say what do they like, where, where they are. Don't argue with them, but follow them. It's a very important and difficult time, but without the grace of God, impossible, impossible. So, okay, let's pray and let's ask God for his help and continue to struggle. Don't be cansado, tired, no? Anyway, I will finish here because the other things will be much more important. But what I would say, just yes, the last idea, as a cardinal, I know a little bit more of the whole world. I meet the Holy Father. I go to other places. I hear many things. We are in a big crisis, but a great opportunity. And I want to say it because it's true. The United States is a place where the world is looking Europe is a little bit old and tired. They are giving in easily. You have to be more brave and don't give in. Defend family. Don't worry. Because we need the United States, and I know the family program you have all over the country. So be sure that Christ is looking to the states not politically, but we have to say something, I'll not say it, of the political. Pero people, schools, governments, be involved. There are good times. This uh, generation has a very important responsibility to give to your sons a better world. And that starts with family. So. It's over. Thank you very much.